Jalen Horde, not seven foot tall Olivier Saar, takes the opening tip. And Wake Forest wins it. Offense and the Demon Deacon squad overall. The old man of the team, the only junior that starts for the Demon Deacons, his leadership, his ability. Now Brandon Childress with a little giddy up inside to Saar. Good spot. Horde on the offensive glass, puts it back in. Pretty good look from the corner. Lynch Daniels unable to hit it. Saar had the rebound, lost it. It finds Childress ahead for right. Nice that time. Get the ball out, push ahead. Takes the contact by right, goes in. Can the Huskies find a bucket? 0 for 8. There's one. Edward Hart, the Joel Coliseum. Yeah, don't foul if you're HBU. Childress beats the shot clock buzzer, gets his first points. Jalen Horde has the steal, his fourth of the season. Going coast to coast, the freshman. Side around the perimeter and also can make free throws. Watch the steal there, drives it under control, avoids the contact of four with okay. five players on the team for North Carolina. Another that was the Southland Player of the Year last year for a freshman yeah. that transferred to St. John's, David Carraher, as Jalen Horde goes baseline, puts it in. Eight point lead. Hart trying to post up Saar. Nice move. The final in Maui out to Gonzaga. I didn't think they would. I mean, you know, the, the ACC, nice basket inside. The ACC's very tough. Season poll, amazingly, each of the last three years, the team pick 14th has gone to the postseason in the form of the NIT. There's Musius from the outside, knocks down the trip. It's go inside. It's not like football. You want to establish the run game and then the passing game. You want to establish inside and then it makes the perimeter baskets easier. All game can score another one of the leaders on this team, even though he's a very young player. Nice job, Sean D. Brown. Juggles makes the catch and lays it in. Isar delivers. Saar will get better and better if he just continues to work and play within himself. 15 feet range, you're deadly. Jalen Gates off the bench, coming on fire, and he's hit back-to-back -back threes. Inches the firepower that this team needs and will need as the year goes on in the Southland Conference. Pretty good defense. Bonds knocked it away, and he's going to get two at the other end. And just like that, the Huskies are within four. Coached. Ron Cottrell in his 28th year. Wake Forest. Got to come out and cover Brown. Shooting the three with 24 on the shot clock, and it's nothing but net for Oliver Lynch Daniels. Spout side, wide open, knocks down the three. The three-year starter at Oak Hill Academy in Mount the Wilson, Virginia. <laughs> Was that on purpose, do you think? <laughs> there with Saar and Brown. Horde and Johnson. Jalen Horde now into double figures. Huskies hanging around here. Six and change to go in the opening half. Nice pass nice. inside. Easy two for Benjamin Uloco. It's just the second home game of the year for the Deeks as Johnson spots up, knocks down the three. It'll be interesting to see what role Torrey Johnson develops with this team as Dubose kisses it high off the glass. Line that time. Lynch Daniels, unable to hit, hit it. Uloco on the stick back. Chance for a three-point play. Brandon Childress has been quiet, just two points. Sharon Wright has also been quiet. Makes some noise there with a jumper. HBU and running their sets. And they've looked like a well-coached team so far today. How wow. about that tough shot? Deacons and Huskies. Let's see how they get the ball to Horde this time. We want him to get a touch. Well done. A little high-low, but he's got his fourth rebound. Don't want to force that. Childress, coast to coast, high off the glass, puts it in. Last shot now. Gates, not even close, but on the stick oh. back, it's Steven Osuji. Establish your ACC dominance over HBU. And if you're HBU, expect that and play accordingly. That's a good start for Wake Forest. Anchorage, Duncan played just 10 minutes. Turned out he was a pretty good player. Yeah, wasn't bad. Brandon Childress. <laughs> what, 
I mean, the Deacons need to be a little demony today to, to take down the Deacon. Here's Childress, same spot as before, same result too. Nothing but net. Carolina, right? A little bit. Fayetteville? No. No, sir. Who? Straight away three for DuBose. Lynch Daniel sets up DuBose, who fakes it. Dishes. Nice, nice. Easy two for Uloco. Brown in the corner for three. From what I saw in highlights late last night, as I was preparing for this game. Great defense from Childress. And he'll take it himself. Hello, Musius, the tough catch doubled. Shot clock at five for Lewis. Now at three, Childress fires and hits. Ugly offense, but sometimes being ugly can be pretty. 15 now for Childress. Very smart of Musius not to force it when he was inside panicking. Quick answer for the Huskies. A lot about him right at this point in time. I tell you this, Gardner Webb's going to be ready to play when he come here. So, hey, that's what you're going to see in the Western Carolina game. Childress feeling it right now. Four for four from three. And he looks so comfortable on his shot selection. Gates, not even close, but it was so off. McKenzie read the rebound, and he's going to get a chance. Ball, they're looking in the monitor. Childress trying to throw right open in the corner. Met by Gates. Tough shot. Why not? Rim knocks down the jumper. Here's the trap again. This is Jackson Stent. Nothing but net. It's been a couple of years at Casper College in Wyoming. Right. Feeling it. Against a &T. 13 versus St. Joe's. 15 versus Cal State Fullerton. Just 12 against Valpo. 18 today, and how about Jalen Gates? Here's, is, you know, singles and doubles win. You don't worry about the home runs all the time. Tell that to Braxton Bonds' uncle. It was a home run play that time. Didn't say he couldn't have him any time. Six points now for Jackson. Stanton nice. a little high-low. Okay, K to Horde. Brown, certainly a candidate to be in that crunch time five. Olivier Saar proving his worth on the glass. Wake's leading scorer right now with 18 points. Inside, Horde now has 18 points, too. Yeah. And Jalen Horde with his seventh rebound of the game. Ahead, Sharon Wright Jr. to the basket. Rejected. Jalen Horde says, "Get out." Basketball team, you know, they're, they're gonna be, they're gonna be heard from in Conference USA as the season goes. Nice move. Edward Hart obviously has a really tough conference schedule with how good the ACC is. By getting some convincing wins and taking care of business at home, the Deacons. Wake's done a pretty good job on Lynch Daniels in the second half, denying him open looks. Wake hasn't done a good job on the. Defensive glass, second chance bucket there for the Huskies. Nice move, Gates for three. Bam! Bonds coast to coast, rejected by Saar, but Hart sticks it up and in, and it's a four point game. Critical possession here for the Huskies offense. Don't have to get a three, but you got to get a basket. DuBose gets a basket. In success. Under a minute. Gates, no. Tipping, yes. McKenzie. Wake's last eight points have all come at the free throw line. And a chance wow. for three. Didn't think, get it done. I think he's still doing all right for himself. Yeah, he's all right. Four point game. Wake turns it over. This for three, no! Pressure shots like these in a two-point game with less than 30 seconds to go. Be long. Wake Forest has opportunity with big guys in for a back tap. You've got to be alert for that. Try to go after the ball and box out the shooter. Much better shot. Picked up by Sharon Wright Jr. Get a good shot. Lynch Daniels back to Bonds, going to the basket, lays it in. One-point game. Now, the question I would ask is that if you're Wake Forest, I, I, 
I work so hard in the game not to foul. I, I, I'm kind of scared of that. They have a three-point lead. Will Danny Manning take his timeout? If he does, G with seven. Hits Bonds. Osuji. They need a three. Dubose for the tie with two tenths of a second remaining. You've got to stay contained of your man. Goes inside Osuji. He's not the shooter. Dubose is a three-point shooter. He's made six on the season. 35 last year. The leading scorer of the team comes up big in the clutch. Take another look. Inside. You stop the basketball outside, behind the line, knocks it down. Childress to the open man, right, takes it. Way off. Horde on the offensive glass. Weak side rebounding. Horde's having a great game again. At 21, Wake breaks the tie up by two. Dubose says, why not? And hits another. Got to come out and contest that shot, Evan. And smart for the Deeks. Sharon Wright Jr. for two. Three of the Huskies, just get a basket, get a solid basket. A three would be good if it's in your rhythm and range. Gates, always wow. in rhythm, always wow. in range. A lot of dribbling, flips it to Hart, underneath, steps through, puts it in. Huskies take a one point lead. Just throwing it up high. It's intercepted by Childress. His length of the court heave is short. And Houston Baptist, on the day after Thanksgiving, has defeated the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Final in overtime, 93-91.